Tired of long-term commitment plans? Then Appalachian Wireless has a new plans for you. No credit checks, no contracts, and most of the features are postpaid. It's forward pay, the simpler way to do wireless on the region's premier cellular provider. And it starts as low as $19.99 a month with unlimited talk and text. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The city of Pikeville could soon adopt a newly amended ordinance that would further limit both open and concealed carried weapons. The restriction mainly applies to carrying weapons near schools and other certain facilities. Pikeville City Attorney Russell Davis gives us more details. As far as what the intent of the ordinance is, you know, there, it's been in the news lately that the city was involved in a protracted uh, civil suit with an organization known as the Kentucky Concealed Carry Association, who were aggrieved by the city's policies concerning in what areas you can have weapons. Now keep in mind that the city, we don't make any weapons laws concerning the buying, selling, or possession of weapons. We're just charged with the responsibility of enforcing the very numerous state and federal gun laws that are out there. And the reason we do that is because we're responsible for public safety. Despite the city not making laws, they are still responsible for upholding those created by federal and state governments. The objective of this policy is to prioritize the public's safety. Probably the biggest one that could be a concern is the Appalachian Wireless Arena, that you could have 6,000 or so people there for a concert. And we need to make sure for safety reasons that everybody complies with the state and federal gun laws that are out there. So, as a result of this lawsuit, we learned some things that maybe we should uh, change or really more just add on to our policy so other organizations will fully understand where we are in that regard. So that was the purpose of amending our existing ordinances to really let the public know a little bit more about our policies and where we stand. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.